My fellow Sagittarius, welcome. This is your heart spread read for mid-December 2021. This is an eight card read that reads you in the one that's on your mind and in your heart. It's already set up here. I do read the bottom of the deck in this reading. And we have temperance, temperance here, Sagittarius card. Uh, Sad Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars here, myself. Um, so it's interesting with the overall energy being Sagittarius, uh, our card. Um, it kind of says to me that this reading is about you. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm almost tempted to say this, even this number two card, uh, here the two of cups, uh, it could even be some part of yourself, you know, but this is the person you're thinking of. So, um, I think what that says, what this says is what's going on here is a really important, um, for you and look at this here. Why, why you need to figure this out? Uh, very tough energy, nine swords. And, and that's your energy that you're in. Um, so as this person comes in and they're in two of cups energy, that's how they're coming in. Um, so to me it's like if this is not you're not in the picture yet this is just kind of how they are and they're not in the picture yet and this is like you know rebound city because if this is a new relationship it's very difficult if it's ongoing then is one of betrayal because here you see this person they have somebody else i don't think this is you they're holding i hate to say it so there's something like that going on here right out of the chute right um, and maybe that's why you're in this energy, you know. But I think like then that would mean that probably if you look back to when the relationship started, if it, uh, if it wasn't real recent, uh, maybe that's kind of a little bit like it was at the when it started. Um, now, once you're in the relationship with the Seven of Cups, um, the Seven of Cups is emotional, could be turmoil. Um, emotionally not being certain not being able to kind of get an emotional temperature or or a grasp of a situation maybe not being able to get your own emotion sort of under control and, and it can be sort of uh, end up feeling like not knowing what you want this is the uh, seven of wands the clipped art deck here i'm trying to get the focus the best i can so that'd be really close so yeah, um, so it's a tough energy to have, um, a tough energy to go into a relationship with, and it's not like you're going into a relationship saying, oh my God, I got this rock now. It's like, you're like, what? I don't really mostly kind of know what I have maybe with my other person. And then if you look at your other person here, these two are clinging. I'm just going to call it clinging, and I'm, you know, I'm a clingy guy. I'm a cancer moon. I'm not really against clinging necessarily. Uh, but it just is. This is your person. This is how they are before, before they showed up. Here they are. Now, once they're engaging you, um, and but this is the Two of Swords energy. So I got to think like the reason they're feeling this Two of Swords energy as they engage you is they're thinking back emotionally to this other relationship or past person or feeling or, I mean, it could even be like they're past that person, but when you're when they think of you it's like that triggers them and then they i could they could feel guilt <sighs> something like that and that's making you confused you have no real way to kind of get a grip on what's going on there and if you note like this is advice from spirit for you in this relationship it's a nine of pentacles so that's like you know the universe is saying hey do you hey look nine of swords is like Imagine you're so screwed up in your head and you just can't get a grip. You're going around and around. It's like the, it's kind of the same thing as the Seven of Cups emotionally, okay? So here you are. Now, what's your advice from spirit? This is like get solid, get grounded. This is a person that's the happy bachelor that's self-contained. That's doing very well, thank you very much, with this Nine of Pentacles energy. So that's advice from spirit, you know, to ground, to focus on yourself and that kind of thing. Um, it is interesting, though, with them feeling this way. They seem to be thinking of you, too, and they're torn. Um, now, the advice from spirit is the six. 
of coins here. If I can get that to come in a little bit better. There we go. Six of Pentacles. Um, and much like the advice for you being nine of Pentacles, it's for them to get solid, get even, get uh, balanced, you know, because they're not. They're off balance. They're, they're over here crying. They're over here crying. They're back and forth. Um, and so, but their focus is to get themselves balanced. You know, the reason they're doing this, they're not balanced. Um, yours just kind of, um, remember who you are here, Sagittarius. And, you know, let's, uh, uh, call into that, uh, higher part of yourself. That's a little bit Capricorn-y. <laughs> we all got it. I got Saturn solid in Capricorn, you know. Uh, now, with the advice from Spirit being seven of Pentacles, uh, now that, that makes a lot of sense to me here. Um, this is for both of you, for the relationship as a whole, if there is to be a relationship. Uh, but it's basically saying um, you both going to need to take stock and get kind of a grip on yourselves. And then you're just going to have to ask each other. The best thing to do is have a conversation and, and this is a real uh, nuts and bolts conversation about, you know, what, what are we doing? What do we both want out of life? What, um, are we in love? Um, what's going on with us? And um, are we compatible? And uh, do we want the same things? Are we believe in the same things? And with the outcome being the two of wands here, remember you have your, you're showing up as yourself in, in the deck. I really think, Saggies, this means that you're going to have a choice and it's going to have, involve an action. It's like really going to be a choice. You know, every one day I have a choice too, right? They have a choice too. But I think like like they're going to end up like, quote unquote, choosing you, which, you know. And But really it's going to be in your hands here. That's all Sag there wants. And if you don't kind of feel that now, I bet you will later. So remember me. Come back and comment. That's all good. If you think it uh, resonates, you know, maybe think about sharing it with your person. I'd love it to be used that way. Kind of bring people together, get to talk about the deeper things going on. Pluto junk Venus now, just now. So there's got to be deeper things going on if there's anything going on. Because it's just that way. Not always bad, but boy, it's... Uh, they're probably not uh, doing us shallow in a relationship right about now. It's probably uh, hard to do. <laughs> okay, guys, so uh, let me know what you think of that. Appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Give me a like. That helps a lot. Thanks.